If you just call me Event Drip. Okay. And Mr. Robert, uh, what's your last name? Sorry, I've got it. Sorry. Is okay? Just set it here for yeah, just for a couple minutes until we're done with this. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we're here at the uh, Rock Bottom Brewery in our post gorilla challenge lunch with event director Shamrik Ghani. And Shamrik, I just want to say thank you on behalf of Main Street Media. We had a fantastic time today. We've been uh, reliving our experience over uh, a nice lunch and some drinks here. And thank you so much for as accessible as. The challenge was everyone had a great time, and we're gonna have a little question and answer and a little commentary here. But awesome, awesome. We try our best to make all our events as accessible as possible. And uh, so, buddy, uh, what, what are some things you'd like to? to well, uh, <laughs> so your your chair is able to handle the all the bumps and all the oh, hey, running was... running around downtown Portland. Bye bye hot wheel. Bye bye hot wheel. That's a hot wheel. So you, you say it's a good. It was a good test for the capabilities of your chair. Yeah. Oh, awesome. That's nice. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. And your battery. Yes, your battery. You lost one. No, not even. That's simple. Yeah, you still got all your still lights. Still fully charged there. We were and very. You got, and you guys still finished ten out of twelve. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah, we went all over. We we're a very efficient team here. Good, good. And, and so just kind of talk about um, what it's like to set up an event like this in a city and you know the preparation that it took to uh, to get this done here in Portland. So what happens is we have staff around the country that, that essentially sit and research Portland. Uh, they research Portland, the history of Portland, we work with the local chamber of commerce as well. And we work with the local university to see what are the best clues, what are the most meaningful clues. And we try to get in some social action type clues as well, something about the environment, literacy, homelessness, um, integrity, not integrity, what's the word I look for? Um, integration, there you go, integration, tolerance, you know, messages like that. So in every city we have different types of messages. And so we research the best clue sites possible, so we come up with 20 to 25 clue sites. And then the event director will go uh, in each city and just verify that the clues exist. And then the game master back in Houston puts the clues together and then he sends it to print. That's really all that it takes, but it takes them a long time to put together riddles that aren't easily Googleable and um, find different partners that we can work with. Now, you guys have the uh, Gorilla Challenge all throughout the country. I think it runs from uh, April to October, so really a lot of work that you guys uh, put into things here, but I just again want to congratulate you on, on the inclusion. Now, I, I really have never been prouder of mainstream media reporters than I am today. This was one of the most uh, physically and intellectually challenging events uh, that we, we did here today in our uh, year and a half history. Now, I know that you've had other teams uh, with, with disabilities participate in different cities, but uh, we can, uh, completed uh, 10 out of 12 challenges, the required amount, in 2 hours and 41 minutes. Uh, how did we do compared to your, some of your other city teams? You know, I, I can't, uh, I'm not going to say 2 hours and 41 minutes is the best time ever. <laughs> but it's definitely, what's, what's really nice about Portland especially, is that we only had one team that didn't actually come back in to check in. And oh. every city, 33% of teams drop out. Every city. Over wow. here, only one team didn't come back. Wow, way to go Portland. Are they still AWOL? Do we know what happened? I have no clue. Most teams, so the 33%, they'll find a pub or a restaurant, <laughs> they'll just go back to their cars, like, we can't do this anymore. They defeat themselves physically and they defeat themselves mentally. Wow. Not that, not you. You got it. You came back. <laughs> I bet it, I bet the challenge that they left at was the vinegar. Yeah. The vinegar oh. spray. Well, it's vinegar and, uh, and clam juice. Oh, they oh vinegar, they no! Vinegar, clam juice, salt, water, food diet. Oh, God. It's disgusting. You call it the Kool-Aid. Oh, Kool-Aid, yeah. It's generic wine punch is what it is. Oh, God. Gorilla Challenge branded wine punch. Yeah. Oh, huh? Because it's funny. <laughs> yeah, we're, we thought it was hilarious. I'm, I'm really. David and Mitch thought it was like so funny. Seafood stuff, so like I just thought it was vinegar, and then it, it was so gross. Vinegar masks it, but the clam juice, what it does is it keeps the smell there longer. Oh, 
Oh. The vinegar comes off easily, but clam juice will stay in your clothes. So you'll smell the clam, you'll smell the vinegar, but later on, if it gets on your clothes, the clam juice smell comes out. It's like a blow pop, you eventually get to the gum. Well, that is, that is very strategic of the Gorilla Challenge to maximize the experience. David, you're enjoying a fine meal here at the Rock Bottom Brewery. I don't want to interrupt your uh, chewing there, but uh, what, are, what are some of your thoughts for, uh, for Brent Director Shawnick here on the Gorilla Challenge? Uh, no. Quite uh, extreme uh, thoughts. Yeah, that one spray. Yeah. <laughs> no. And then no. And also, no. Uh, I liked the idea of you of us coming to the world's smallest park. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw you guys. Yeah. I saw you guys there when he was getting his butt whooped by uh, by a gorilla. That, that gorilla was fast, man. I did get my butt whooped. I started to scream, and I'm like, come on, really seriously, I'm 80 pounds heavier than you are. Come on, slow down, dude. Hey, go. Which car? Ah, the buck. The little park? Oh, when we were at the little park? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. traffic going both ways. I'm not sure if we've had, ever had two wheelchairs in Portland and six total people visit that park at once <laughs> in the uh, middle of the intersection there, but uh, it was a fun time. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> well, thanks again. It was a fantastic time. We really appreciate everything you did. Thank you. Thanks, man.